Hey, what's up everybody? This has been week 21 at Lambda School and we covered an introduction to C as well as processes and system calls. And it was our first introduction to the new language uh, C and I have to say that C is uh, difficult but I actually enjoyed a lot more than Python. Python for reasons being with the spacing, um, the simplicity of it sometimes where things are tucked away and harder to access. Um, with C, everything is kind of spelled out. So with a character, you know, that's going to be one byte. If it's going to be, um, uh, was it an integer? That's going to be four bytes. A float is eight bytes, that sort of thing. So it's very much spelled out inside of memory. But some of the syntax can also be weird, some of the commands especially. So like, you know, we have console.log in JavaScript, but in uh, C it would be printf. And then a lot of the system calls are very weird as well, um, where they just shorten names of the commands for um, in, in a weird kind of way. You know, I don't have an example off the top of my head, but you can look it up and uh, see for yourself. Um, this week, our instructor was Bij, and uh, he's a really good instructor. I enjoy his teaching style a lot and uh, keeps it interesting. He gave us uh, demos during lecture, so it helps us to review the C syntax and also to bring up edge cases that might prove difficult and also homework problems and things like that. With uh, processes and systems calls, you're working closer to um, the computer, computer's language. So that's what C apparently means. It means closer, closer to the metal, closer, lower, a lower level language, uh, a language that you can control more of the system um, components like uh, memory, um, operating processes, you know, creating them, and then, you know, freeing up memory, all that sort of thing is combined into this language, which is what makes it so powerful. And what people have used to make games because um, you can control every little thing about it. So less head hand holding it with C, but also more responsibility um, as well uh, with the code that you write. And on the homework this week, uh, we did a lot of exercises, a lot of like little algorithms where we had to convert strings, reverse strings, as well as um, different commands for processes. So we had one where we ran a million instances of printing out an empty string or something, and then you try to find the average of that. Um, there were exercises where uh, we uh, tried to write something called a pipe where it's where two processes can uh, pass information one to the other so there's a lot of interesting things with C and um, we're gonna get more into it in the coming weeks here uh, the next four weeks to be exact but in general um, the homework and everything is it's difficult it's it's doable if you ask a lot a lot of questions I actually just ended up reading a lot of articles and watching a lot of videos and that's how I kind of gained my knowledge. But I do have to admit there's still gaps in my knowledge because this is a truly difficult language. It's not something you pick up in a week or two. It's something that even Beige, the instructor, said he still has trouble sometimes with. So uh, I'm just uh, taking it step by step, making sure I understand the basics of um, everything. The biggest concept to grasp in C is probably pointers. Pointers confuse everybody when they start out. And what it is is basically pointers are a variable that points to a physical space inside memory of another variable. So the reason we do that is because if you don't know the size of uh, something that we want to create, like a, a huge string of characters or something, you have to allocate like a pointer. You have to allocate like a, a reference to that place in memory. And so that's what makes it confusing working with that. So it's like working with two, you're working with the value itself and you're also working with the address at where that value exists in memory. So don't want to confuse you too much on that. Um, if you are doing C, you are awesome because it is a difficult language. And um, for the sprint project this week, I also did something different where they just did interview style questions. We did not do the actual sprint challenge itself. It was a little experiment that they wanted to do. 
Um, and I did okay. Uh, I think I came out with a, a decent grade. I didn't make top marks, I don't think. Um, but I'm ha very happy with that. Made a lot of progress and learned a lot this week. So very satisfied. Um, hoping to learn more in the coming weeks. Other than that, I'll leave you guys with that. And uh, hope you had a great winter break. Um, I know I'm just coming back from it here. It's uh, It's been a good uh, winter break and New Year's for me as well. Um, and then I have some exciting news coming up after all this uh, intro to C and system stuff. So stay tuned on that. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope this video has helped you out somewhat. If you have any questions or if you are in Lambda or something, say hey. I know uh, the school is growing at a very rapid rate, almost exponentially. But thank you and have a great day. Bye.